Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a video to talk about uh, some questions and answer some questions that some of you have uh, concerning of course Windows updates and the different updates that we're getting. So uh, first question about uh, yesterday's updates. So we talked about 1903, 1909 getting updates. The first question that a few of you have sent is yeah, I check Windows updates, nothing is there. And you know, you're talking about this update and it doesn't show up. Remember that the telemetry of your machine lets them know what updates might not be a good idea. So it is possible that some people don't see updates right away because something in that update is not working right on your specific computer. In the case of, um, you know, bug fixes, it doesn't matter. You know, if your computer is running fine, who cares? You know, you'll have it if you have it someday and that's it. For the rest, if it your computer just runs smoothly, there's no problem there. The other question, of course, once again, uh, has to do with what does it mean optional update? Um, so optional update, there are two types of updates that are sent out. And these are the mandatory updates, the ones that you have to do, which are the patch Tuesday updates. Those you have no choice. It's something that has to be installed and it is because it is security. You will not be safe if you don't update it. So they forced that on you and that's fine because a computer that is not updated with security updates is not, it doesn't, you know, it, there's a danger there. The um, other updates are, of course, optional updates, which are usually bug fixes. So like we had yesterday, these fix problems that some people, some users might be seeing. Now, a lot of you have been saying, well, I don't have any problems. I don't see why they're sending out this, uh, you know, those bug fixes. Well, there's two types of problems that happen in Windows. There's the problems that you don't see because you don't use specific items. So, for example, your Windows 10 install might have a bug on some features, but because you don't use those features, you never see that bug. So that's the first thing. It doesn't mean because you don't see them that they're not in your machine. It might be simply because of the way you use your machine. You never see those problems. The other thing is not everybody has the problems. Some people have a perfectly working computer, even with the features that they fixed because on their hardware and their software, it is okay. But some people do have the problems. And so they fix that with that. They actually will fix the bugs because some people do have problems. If they send out a bug fix, like yesterday, a cumulative update, that's because there's a certain number of people complaining about problems that they have in Windows. So that's why they're issuing that bug fix. The other uh, question that I've got is, okay, well, you know, I never touched the, uh, but the uh, optional updates. Um, but you said in your, um, you said yesterday, well, you know, they will install with patch Tuesday. Yes, they will. So here's the thing. Um, although they're optional updates, when windows updates, the cumulative update looks at what you have as updates pre-installed. And that cumulative update adjusts itself to install whatever is missing. And what happens is that patch Tuesday, if you don't, so if you don't touch, for example, the cumulative update yesterday for bug fixes, next patch Tuesday in May, that update will be included within the patch Tuesday updates, meaning the bug fixes are going to be pushed with the patch Tuesday security updates. Meaning, yes, that could take longer for you to have the install of the Patch Tuesday updates, technically. And it ha this has to do with the way that cumulative updates work. Mm, they look at your system and they add to that package whatever is missing. And that brings up your build number to the correct build number. So that means, yeah, they will be kind of forced on you if you want, but in a few weeks with that patch Tuesday update. So yeah, that of course means it will be a, a, a bigger download and a longer install uh, for sure, because there's more to install 
than if you had installed it. But that doesn't mean you should install it anyways. And, you know, it gives them a few weeks to tweak out something maybe that could be wrong. So, you know, it's not a bad idea technically to wait for it uh, for Patch Tuesday. Maybe they could fix something if something goes wrong in that update or they pull it. For example, if there would be a major issue with a bug fix update, well, if they put it, they pull it and they decide that they're not pushing it right now, well, you'll be part of the ones that never had it because in Patch Tuesday, it won't be included anymore. So this is the questions and answers for the updates uh, about Windows 10. As for uh, the release of the updates yesterday, I don't see a lot of background noise of people having problems, but you know they're optional, so I'm suspecting there's a lot of people that aren't even touching these updates. So uh, for now, there's really nothing uh, bad about it, but it does. Uh, if there's anything, of course, I will talk about it here. And once again, so cumulative update yesterday and only for the May and November 2019 updates. And they are bug fixes. If you are, uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.